Hello, my name is Rob, and today I'm going to show you how to do a full download into Group 1 on a VX520 for when you're doing only gift cards through your terminal. So here from this main screen, uh, which means that there's nothing in this terminal, there's no other programs, we're going to want to hit F2 and F4 at the same time. I'm going to put in the terminal password. Uh, for this group, it's it's usually one alpha alpha six six eight three one, but it can be other things as well. All right, then we're going to go from this screen. We're going to go to download. We're going to group one. Put in that same password. Uh, since we're doing a, the full download in the group one, we're going to do multi app full download. It always asks this, so you can say yes. We're going to do this download over the over the internet, so we're going to hit the down arrow and we're going to go to TCPIP. Now from here we're going to go download. We're going to go to Ethernet download. Now that is what the uh, you're going to need the URL to be. So it's going to be 66.76.180.6. .6. I'll show you how to, how to type that in. So we're going to do IP address. Because it's a little tricky without having the zeros. So it's 66 and then to enter the dot it's just the pound sign. And then you want the port to be 8013. SSL false. Block size can be empty as well as heap size. Yeah. Alright, now on this screen is where you're going to want to put in the terminal ID. This is usually sent over to you in the email uh, for after you request the file build. So for, for my download, I'm going to use this one here, 3244991. Alright, the application stands for is star MA for multi-app. Star MA for the application name. Resumable download false. And here is just where you double check of you know make sure everything was entered incorrectly. And the terminal ID application name. Hit enter. And then the download will start. Once you get that line, that means that there's connection, and then those those dashes will turn into stars. All right, when you go over the um, when you're downloading over internet, they tend to go pretty fast. So that is how you can set up a download on a VX520 for a standalone terminal over the internet.